a first time cruiser and I have watched hundreds of videos trying to get all the tips and tricks to make my cabin and yours a home away from home. Hi, I'm Christy Keenest. Welcome to my channel, Cruising with Christy. I am leaving on a cruise in two weeks to Alaska with my family. I've never been on a cruise before, so I watched hundreds of videos trying to narrow down what do we really need to know for that first cruise. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the tips and tricks that I found on how to make the cabin a home away from home with the help of your stateroom attendant and little things that you can do to start your cruise off right that first day. If you like what you see in today's video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you can find out, do the tips and tricks really work when I come back from my cruise? All right. Tip number one, you'll want to unpack your bags that very first day so you don't have to think about it or worry about it for the rest of the cruise. Once your bag's unpacked, it will stow underneath the bed. All right, tip number two actually starts at home and it starts at home when you pack. So what you'll want to use is packing cubes like this. So you put your clothes in it and it's a compression bag. So you can put a lot of stuff in it and it kind of smooshes it down. And then that way you're not taking up too much space in your luggage with your clothes. Some great things about packing cubes. Number one is that everybody in the family can get a different color cube. If you're sharing luggage, that way the kids can have their own color, you can have your own color, your husband has their own color, so that everybody's in charge of their own clothes once you get on the cruise. Now, when you get there, you're gonna take any clothes out that you wanna hang on hangers in the closet, and then the rest, you can just take the entire cube and throw it in the drawer. That way you are quickly unpacked and ready to go. Two tips to go along with unpacking your clothes and putting them in the drawers is number one, you might consider bringing some like Bounty fabric softeners to put in the drawers as well. Uh, lots of tips have to do with the smells in the cabin. So that would help you with if there's any residual smells in the drawers, mustiness, you can get the fabric softener and just throw it in the drawer. Another tip was for any clothes that are wrinkled, you might wanna get some downy wrinkle release. You just spray it on your clothes, hang them in the shower, you know, to let the steam kind of hang the wrinkles out a bit, and then you're good to go. Because you are not allowed to bring an iron on the cruise, no iron. So if you do need to iron something, if this isn't enough, you can ask your stateroom attendant if there's a facility where they have irons that you can borrow. Tip number three goes along with tip number two. So as you're emptying out your luggage and your bags, if you find that you do not have enough hangers, you can always ask your stateroom attendant for more. Some people like to bring their own hangers, the YouTuber said, and they linked different hangers that were foldable that you can put in your luggage. But they all said either there are enough hangers in the closet or all you have to do is ask your stateroom attendant for a few more. Four. Tip number four has to do with the sanitation of your cabin. So yes, your cabins are cleaned in between, obviously guests. But one thing that many YouTubers suggested is that you bring like some Clorox wipes like these. You wipe down things that are often used and maybe not clean, like the remote, the doorknobs, the light fi or the fixtures, um, anything that you think, hmm, I'm gonna come into a lot of contact with this. I can just give it a little wipe to make sure that everything is good to go. All right, so tip number five is pretty much common sense. You wanna use that cabin safe to lock up any valuables, your keys, your wallet, your passport, anything that you're not gonna need to carry with you around on the ship. A nice tip though, is to put everything in a baggie like this one. And then that way, when it's time to leave, everything's in one place. You're not like digging into the safe to make sure that you got every single item out of it. 
So for the next few tips, you might wanna write these down. I'm gonna have them in the description portion, and then you might even just hand that list to your stateroom attendant so he knows what he can do to help you, or he or she can do to help you to make your stay more comfortable. So the first one is to empty out that mini fridge. Most mini fridges items you're gonna pay extra for, they're not complimentary, and they just kind of fill up the space that you might use for your refillable water bottles, to bring a snack back from the buffet, so those are things to think about. On that same note, that you may wanna bring some sandwich Ziploc baggies in your day bag so that if there is something that you want to have for later in your cabin, you can do that. Something I did learn in my research for this cruise is that while you can take whatever you want from the buffet for your cabin, for around the ship, you cannot take those items on shore. So to ports, you can only take items that are in sealed packages. Right. So when you ask your cabin attendant for those extra hangers, if you need extra towels, extra pillows, that would be a good time to ask him or her for them at that point as well. You can also check your pillows. Let's just say they're a foam pillow, you prefer a feather pillow. You can see if there are pillows you can swap out. And something else that I love is a nice bathrobe. Many of the cruises you can ask for a bathrobe that you can borrow during the cruise. Just remember to re leave it there so you don't get charged for it. All right, here I'm gonna combine tips eight and nine. Tip eight, if you need a blow dryer, you can ask your stateroom attendant for one. And secondly, many cruises, they will have a fan that you can borrow if you like that air circulating. We're having an inside cabin, so I know I'm gonna ask for a fan to keep that air circulating in our room. All right, tip number 10. If you like ice the way I like ice, you will want to ask your stateroom attendant to keep your ice bucket full. All right, the next tip has to do with your bed. If your bed is too hard, you can ask for a mattress topper. If it's too soft, you can ask for a board to put underneath the mattress to make it more comfortable. You are gonna be sleeping in that bed, well I am, for seven nights, so might as well make it the most comfortable, seven nights, 10 nights, however many nights as possible. I found this one interesting. If your cabin has extra furniture, like little side tables or things that you do not need that are getting in your way, you can ask your stateroom attendant to take them out of your cabin during your cruise. All right, this final tip has to do with tipping. So your stateroom attendant might have been or might be your best friend on the cruise because of all the things that they can do for you. So you might consider giving them a tip either before or you know, like on the first day, a little bit on the first day, a little bit on the last day. Different people have different things that they do. I'm gonna bring some thank you cards to put a tip inside. Now, on the topic of tipping, it's very personal because you are paying a tip, a gratuity for the cruise. But I know so many people are tipping those stateroom attendants. So please leave a comment below. What do you do or plan to do on your next cruise? for tipping your stateroom attendant, for all the services that they're providing. Right. That is the end of our video. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In the description portion below, I'll have these 13 tips listed for you, just in case you forgot or you wanna write them down or print them out to bring on the cruise with you. And be sure to look for my next video where I'm gonna be talking about things to help your cabin to be more comfortable, to smell better, and to be more organized. Until then, happy cruising.